at so, a certain point, people will not know this, but at a certain point, I was like, I'm done with this, but I just, I just wanna, I just wanna, I just wanna mess with this girl again. So, with that said, right? Do you think you contributed to um, Kosi's win? Contributed to Kosi's win? If you were not Kosi's partner, right? Yeah. Right. And I feel like I, I, I feel, I feel like if I was not, I, no, no, okay, you know, no, Yemi was like the middleman, right? Yeah. From, from what we all saw, like, yeah. you know, he had Kosi going on, he had yeah. Blue going on, you mm-hmm. know. But now you come into the thing, yeah. right? Now you kind of. You know, like you said, you were taunting, you were taunting him. Yeah. So it became a thing where, like, now he's, let me say, a bit, like, maybe distracted. Mm-hmm. Right? Because now Oh, yeah. Because he got to a certain point, the house whereby I was no longer a threat. Like, I was chilling with Pelang on my wand. And then they go, and I, 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 and then they go, still on me. Like, he was still on me. I'm like, bro, I'm not your problem. That, that light skin, they go with the braces. <laughs> That's who you need to be looking at, bro. I didn't see that, bro. I didn't nobody see that. Saw it apart, no. Nobody saw it apart from me. But initially, I honestly thought that they were just like brother-sister vibe. But when I now realized what they actually were, I'm not going to say shit. That's my partner, bro. She's doing her thing and we'll keep going in the game. Let her have her fun, bro. I'm having my fun. Let her do her own thing. Shout out to you. Hi, babe. My baby. Uh. Hi, Mona. Hi. Hi, big shakes. <laughs> shakes and Bella, the Shella sheep, be given the single Pringle. Hi, BP. Anyways, it is what it is. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Welcome back, my babies. Welcome back, my darling adorables. My darling MVPs. How are you all doing? Hope you had a beautiful Sunday. Meanwhile, welcome back to Sell With Me, Shosti Mimi, where you get a gist. As it had written, as it hurts. Of course, you know, there's no sleeping on the bicycle on this channel. If you snooze, you do what? You lose. Are you yet subscribed to this channel? I used to sit on the fat long thing. Kindly push right there. Make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell. If not, tell me, how would you get the gist? As it hurts. Okay, so talking about Shags and Bella, yeah. Um, the Shella shippers have been blushing. As um, Colby said, no, no, man can't act this long. Big Bella's man is just a good man and his intentions are good. You can't tell me shit and I believe you... I- and I believe you anymore. It is clear to see. And another thing, he will make a good daddy because he is caring soon. So the Shella shippers have been, you know, trending this uh, video of Bella and Shex. Actually, yesterday night, sorry, yesterday they went out for a day. And today, Shex deemed it fit to take Bella's knees out for some ice cream and enjoyment, as you can see on the video. So the Shella shippers are one of the happiest people on the social space as they are saying, oh, no, 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 Shex is caring. You know, they are trying to prove a point because of what the, the um, <coughs> perspective um the perception sorry people have for shags when he was in the house so they are now saying calling him a husband materials anyways it is what it is right make her not talk past like this okay before we continue with what i'm i was saying right i got this info that adekunle so if you're an adekunle fan right he said hey everyone excited to announce that at the end of the day i will take a different approach this one time hence the delay i'll be hosting a twitter space tonight at 10 p.m the love has been so refreshing and immeasurable this past couple of days i just really want to connect and have a one-on-one with you guys come ready let's make it a date see you guys at the end of the day so Adekule said he's going to be having a Twitter space. So if you want to, if you're interested and want to know what Adekule is talking about, kindly join because it may seem as though after the buzz buzz with the um, Shellas, which is Shells and Bella, that's Adekule right in, on the reunion ground. Adekule have been having different kind of emotions, left, right and center. The other time I told you guys on how he came on and said that he felt so emotional that he had to be teary about what a fan said about him that he is actually being misunderstood. All na reunion palaver so now he said the love you guys are giving him is too much so you guys should meet on the twitter space anyways for the adekunle fans you guys should enjoy i have dropped the info i have dropped the gist okay without miss wasting much time guys hey wahala hey guys uh, hmm the um podcast of miracle op and uh, marvin talk your talk the first time it was announced, it started causing, you know, brohaha on the social streets. Now, they have dropped episode three, according to them. 
right? And now it is causing another one. What is the problem? Netizens have been coming for Marvin and um, Miracle OP. Why are they involving Yemi Craigs in their, in their podcast? Now, you should not forget that this talk your talk is actually, it revolved from the house, right? So that's why they now want to do it outside. So some persons were like, it is disrespectful for them to be talking about the housemates, right? So they've been coming for Marvin, notoriously, guys. So do you think this is actually wrong? Like, they've been coming for them, um, so do you think it's actually wrong to have been mentioning, you know, discussing Yemi Craigs? It, it was not only Yemi Craigs they mentioned, or even Tabang, Miracle, they discussed general stuff in the house. I'm sure some of you guys must have watched um the podcast. What do you think about about it do you think they wouldn't have mentioned yemi craig's ish or do you think they wouldn't have even you know, mentioned the triangle in the house and i think the initiative on you know starting this talk your talk is about the housemates actually is the kind of giving us reunion on their in their own way to let us know about what is happening with the housemates meanwhile if you've got to this section of this video before we get to read the buzz balls on the social streets on marvin and miracle yeah kindly let me know what you think about this do you think it's disrespectful on the part of yemi craig's and involving him on that podcast let me know in the comment section okay while we enter the the, the buzz balls streets i see the heart okay fuck generation says Yemi Craig's the brand. You opened a podcast and instead of speaking about yourself, the first name you mentioned is Yemi Craig's. You wear those. May you never see anything. Wow. Mm. Let me just say the clutches. Please, you can complete the sentence, please. Ha. I never knew it is that deep. So, baby girl of the most high God reply, don't mind them. He lives rent free in their head. It is too much now. Something has to be done. So, guys, my question is, do you think... That was unnecessary that they wouldn't have you know indulged they wouldn't have you know talk about um yemi craigs and all that ish that happened in the house i don't know what to say about this now until i hear from you guys when i finish hearing from you guys then maybe my next video i will drop my two cents because now i think the talk your talk actually as i said was started the initiative was around the house and not their personal ish Meanwhile, Nelisa actually tweeted. She said, it is giving obsession. Now, the netizens do not know if it is about, it's about the talk your talk or if it is about another thing. Because Nelisa is one housemaid that, you know, naturally do randomly reply stuff, say some things, right? To the extent, there was a time she came out and she said everything is not about BBN. But you never can tell. It is giving that it is, she's replying to what, you know, the netizens are saying about Yemi Craig's and them. Um, Marv, uh, sorry, Yemi Craig's Marvin and Miracle Opie. Do not forget that Nelisa is actually a pair of the Elisa. So there is every possibility that she is actually, you know, referring to what is happening. Meanwhile, the replies like uh, are funny. Talk if you have the board. Stop coding. Because they were actually in a feeling that she was referring to, you know, Marvin and the Miracle OP. It's, it's may seem as though this topic is gonna, it's gonna be a long one. Like I'm gonna be discussing it because the buzzwords that will be coming about this. Hmm, at this point, yes, replied um, uh, Facts Generation. King Joy Poppin said, Let's see how long this podcast will last. Once a new season of Big Brother starts, enjoy the booze. Marvin, I like you very much, but please do the needful. Address the allegation. They are still... In fact, this podcast is brewing a lot. It may seem as though Marvin will have many views on this podcast because first of the podcast started with a brouhaha from Black Boy. Now, second off, people are complaining about Yemi Kress being on that... Um, clip that video now it, it will want people going to go check what was the gist about and all that okay busengov said imagine sideline sidelining black boy on only to drop below the prior episode firstly invest in quality podcast equipment try and research on topics that will make the podcast trend because that mediocre episode they dropped should have remained in the archive <laughs> oh my goodness people eh? you know one thing is when you do not you do not dance to the tune of people they would never ever appreciate what you do right now that's what i'm asking you guys have you seen that on um, podcast what do you think about it so that i would know if really it, the the podcast does not really make sense okay jesse green said miracle and marvin are literally the two richest bbt housemates neither one of them need a bag or need a bag or to chest clouds they are investing in and doing their podcast their way for fun black is free to do his own podcast and i can call it the same name if he wants i would listen to both hashtag bb titan you know the problem those housemates have is just the netizens their fans the netizens that's the problem they have because sometimes things are not that deep but people you know take it way over but like no this thing is actually serious you know and when their fans start initiating that different comments and they will start you know getting aggravated from there that is what i think meanwhile 
according to what this person said that um, Marvin and Miracle OP are rich. Somebody from my previous video actually was saying that Marvin would have allowed Miracle OP to post that on his YouTube channel so as he could make money through it. But I actually said something. I said Miracle is fully on business. This house makes half things they are doing, right? Everybody has their plan. So the better the fans don't put too much eyes on them, the, the better for them. So guys, let me know what you think about the whole saga okay why we enter the next gist as it hurts talking about the next gist it is about Cold city winner twaller and kanaga jr before i get to talk about that let me read this out first tulike said we should be celebrating and hyping the beautiful work done in soweto today by good deeds instead k ends up losing her valuable item i am hurt but the devil is the liar good deed will continue to do the lord's work and kosi will continue to be the tool god uses good deed in soweto to. Anyways, if you want to know this person that um, actually tweeted this, she is the one Kosi is holding, the one at the right side. That's her. So, guys, now it is going on the social. Notices are coming for the for K Kanaga Junior. Why did Kanaga Junior do anything? Of course, no. He is minding his business, but because of the K Force, it is said that the K Force are actually, you know, mocking Kosi for the misfortune what happened today that's why it should be she has two cars one from one mother and the other her, her big car that people are talking about so why is it that she took uber why did she take uber this one and that one you understand so netizens are coming for them and they've started you know marking kanaga jr were like look at the people that they are their faith have a car that is um, um push me i push you now they, they have the guts to be saying this you know i keep saying this that when you tend to attack these housemates, it is your faith they will come from. For your faith will be relaxing, and then they will come for your faith. Now, this is the reason why I said I accepted that it was the K force. I saw some tweet actually. This is it. Medical doctor is actually a staunch K force. He said, Kama is certainly a B. A bitch, actually. In any case, since they said she won the show, can't she just buy a new phone? What is all this drama? And since when did Twitter become police station? Is she that dumb that she doesn't know that she is supposed to report to the police station? So, now they've been looking at it like maybe she has money. Why is it that she will not buy a new phone? And you guys forget that. I don't know how people reason. Maybe when things happen to people you do not like, you start reasoning left, 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 okay? You cannot reason right a bit. Do you know that when you lost your phone, you have your valuables on that phone. It's not about the, the amount you bought the phone sometimes, yeah? To some of us, it's not about the amount you bought the phone, but it's about the contents on that phone, the valuables you have on that phone, things you would lost on that phone. But people will not understand it, right? Okay, Miss K said, it's honestly bad luck to be supported by people of such stupid mind. And this is always a reminder of why the person they are supporting did not win. If I tell you guys I'm happy on how people are talking this saying this about kanaga jr is enough for me but because people brought the drag for him who am i not to read it out same thing happened previously from the co-syrian i actually still call it out to say see what happened see how i knew that it was the co-syrian the same way i am calling that of k-force out so by this time people should know me now that i i did everywhere if you flop i would call you i'll call you as i'll call your fan base out so the k-force were actually involved in this right calling saying all this kind of thing does not really make sense because actually you're bringing drag for your faith who is actually doing well out there and he's actually trending currently right okay vk said the gag is the gag is your owner up does not even drive the second hand scrap geyser on wheels all the time sometimes it is wise to use your brain at least pretend to have a little bit of sense it would make the twitter experience a little more palatable for the rest of us and i have a question too as i don't even know if some of these trolls even have a car i wanted to ask them a question because i want to ask do you have a car is it every time you make use of your car like you drive your car every single day come on there are sometimes you would not want to drive and you would have to. anyways anyways why am i even talking too much people would always say what they want to say right okay vkr said not manageable bands fc asking why kosi was in a boat not them it is well now you see Kanaga Junior who is busy doing well and I wanted to even share some of the trend on Kanaga Junior. Maybe I will do that on my next video. I have to discuss this first because Kanaga Junior baby boy is doing well for his for himself. Different paid guests that they, they are even calling him on and all that. And so, some of the K4s who are reasonable are actually even trending him positively. Like I said previously, today I said this in my videos. I've been saying this, this on my videos. No matter how you guys would take it, right? Each fan base would have that fan base, set of fan base that are reasonable and set of fan base that would definitely bring their faves out, that would rub their faves on the potopoto. -poto. 
you get the point so it is what it is right right now i'm signing off i'm just dropping my voice right here guys let me know what you feel about all we have discussed right now because i would like to hear from you guys in the comment section as usual the comment section is free just be civil with your words right i'll see you guys later and do not forget me me love you okay and i hope you love me too <laughs> bye bye